Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner, here we are again. Uh, just a forewarning, I am still a bit sick, but I'm going to try and keep the uh, sick noises uh, to a minimum. Because, well, first of all, it seems like the medicine is mostly kicked, kicked in, so there's less to worry about that. But uh, this is what I've got so far. I sh would have had more, but I ran into a slight problem. When you run into a mine shaft and you encounter one of the large areas, make sure that you didn't light every single other area up before you go to tackle it. Because there was a lot of things in one room, and I ended up losing them. Whoops. And I may have just bumped the microphone. Uh, I've s switched headsets, but it has a really bad microphone on it. So I'm supplementing it with the desktop mic that I'd used a while ago. I uh, played around, tried to get the settings to what I would consider an acceptable level. But, before we really get into that stuff, there's a few things I like to check out, specifically because it has some just general bearing on things. Uh, it's basically the Soul Shards mod and how you can start it out now, which I kind of want to do. Now, as you can tell, I did a tiny bit of exploring. There's Cave Spider there. I found another ravine, which I haven't explored yet. But if you can read the one that I'm running towards, which I'm hoping you can, it says Cobweb, Great Wood, times two. I found two of them right next to each other. Which I haven't done anything. Uh, here's the full grown mana beans. As you see, I've broken. I actually got two, which isn't always guaranteed. Uh, I'm not even going to remember where this is, but I'm planting them back on that tree. Anyhow, this is one of the advantages of a magical forest, is you can keep doing that. Just replacing them and replacing them and replacing them. But, uh, these are used for uh, bombcraft stuff, which I'm not really going to be bothering with at the moment. But, uh, there is two of them. Oops. As I'm sure you just noticed, these just spawned out of that tree, and I'm already getting destroyed. Ugh. Need more light. Oh, I jumped in a cobweb. Oh, I made another cobweb. Okay. Hopefully, there's enough light around here now that they don't spawn. So, you have to destroy the spawners to get to the chests. However... Soul Shards has made it, so the way to work on the mod is by destroying spawners. Destroying a spawner will get you crystallized soul essence, of which you need one to make a soul cage. You need uh, this. I looked into what this does. It's not very important to me. I have no plans to use it. You need two for the sword, which is how you make a soul shard uh, go to somebody. Ooh, gunpowder and iron. I am quite pleased with this. And I don't plan to do anything with bees, so I'm just going to leave that in there for the moment. And there's another one here. You get one crystallized soul essence per chest. Or, per chest, per thing. Ooh, name tag. Ooh! Axe of the Stream. I am quite happy about that. You have no idea how I happy I am about that. Uh, it's got a very unique feature. Namely, the fact that not only does it allow you to cut down an entire tree from the top down, but it also drags, uh, it kills the leaves quicker. So if I hold right click to tear down this tree, of which I don't think you can really use the wood from these in much of anything, but I'm doing this anyhow. I'm not sure how long this is going to take to kill this tree. I hear it. I might be getting closer. I see wood falling out of the tree now. Okay. So. Besides the fact that I got all this neat decorative wood, which I'm probably going to use it mostly for decorative. It does have purposes in Thomcraft. But, uh, the planks of it is... It, in my opinion, it's one of the more detailed types of wood. But, uh, as you can see... The leaves deteriorated deteriorated quite quickly. Using the axe of the stream will do that, as well as if you use golems to cut down trees. But uh, once again, that would require me to actually get into Thumbcraft. Uh, 
Do I want to tear down another tree? I'm probably not going to do anything with this. I'm probably going to try and get repair books eventually to get it repaired. So I'm never going to fully break it. That's my plan. Uh, screw it. I'm going to cut down this tree as well. Yeah, I'm still lazy about cutting, so I apologize for that. But, uh... There's a, an axe from Tinker's Construct that does a kind of similar thing. It doesn't make the leaves break faster, but it does chop down, like, the entire tree in one go. But... Now that I've got some building material, I was originally going to use regular wood, but uh, I've decided otherwise. I didn't mark it, because, well, I didn't really think about it. But, you know, does this actually, is this usable in anything? It's usable as fuel. So, no. No, it isn't. But that is fine. I started clearing out an area, I believe, over by this mana bean, sort of, kind of. It's in between the temp base, and it's next to a section of hill. That's water over there. Not a very good base if I've already lost it, is it? Uh, I knew I should have waypointed it. Uh, there's barley. I considered breaking it, and then I got distracted at one point. Oh, that's not water. That's a world hole. I guess I guess it is water, but it's also a world hole. Hmm. See over there on the left side where totems have caused... How should I put it? Decay on the landscape. So, I think... Think? Okay, I'm going to spend some time figuring out where this is, because I'm an idiot and lost track of it. And also deal with the fact that uh, the cold's catching up with me a tiny bit. And I will be back with you shortly. Okay, now that's pretty much out of the way. Uh, another good use for this is the fact that I'll be able to... Th the Magical Forest has this bad habit of these tall-ass trees, which I was going to use a Lumberjack axe for, which is the Tinker's Construct one. But, uh, I guess I don't really need to at the moment. I'm probably still going to make one, but I have this. So, might as well use what I have while I'm here. Uh, I'm also probably going to expand it out more, or into the mountain. Oh, sorry about that. Into the mountain, which is entirely possible. Because you know how I am. It's not really much of a mountain, though. See what I mean about everything just kind of... Falling down. Well, that was a waste of the axe. Uh, well, my inventory appears to be in a state of full. Hey, is there a mana bean? Mana bean, go grow on this tree. Right there. And they all fall down? Oh, that's where I got the mana bean. It's hanging off of the trees. That was completely unnecessary. I'm not going to lie. So now that I have more saplings than I know what to do with, uh, I do not need dirt. So let's pick up these logs. Uh, hmm... I don't necessarily need the apples, but it doesn't hurt to have a supply of food. And it appears to have gotten dark. Wasting more of that again. I think what I'm going to do... So I'm going to start with it, like, through here. Ooh, that is very dark. It's got some kind of a purple maroon color to it as well. This is not necessarily a bad thing. Oops. A regular axe. Let's use that. That, right there, is a peck. You trade them things. Uh, you can't really trade it at the moment. He kind of wants things. Hey. Items? That sounds like a zombie. Hello, zombie. He doesn't want anything to do with me. 
So to heck with it. Oops. Go away. Okay. Building at night ever since 1.6 has become a lot more of a pain than it should be. Partly because of this whole zombie army stuff. Okay. I think it's time to take refuge in a faraway place. Now, I've built a sort of... As you can see, I waypointed that as well, so I don't have to worry about not being able to find it next time. But, uh... I kind of made a small living space inside of that cave, which is where we started. Stay away from me, skeleton. Uh, Zombies and spiders and skeletons, uh, oh my. Oh. Uh, I saw the creeper. So, I do have a bed. I went around shearing sheep. So, we do have access to the bed to get rid of the night time. However, I suppose now, while I am here, I should probably keep some wood on me, just because. Ooh, I need another chest. I have a chest. What am I doing? Put this there. Some of these things are already another chest. But you know what? I don't care at this exact moment that in there these out those uh... that would be good enough for now I do however have a complete lack of stone which is something I should consider doing something about I need... I'm thinking of the math twenty Two. Uh, I have 27 now. Okay. Oh. In order to get lead, I need, you know, I could have just made both of those in there at once, a slag furnace, which I believe is made like this or the other way. There we go. Now, take the slag furnace, take your silver ore, like so. And I believe one piece of coal will only do four in the slag furnace. So we're going to place 16 in there. Uh, I suppose we're a bit far away from the house area. Cause you only load 128 blocks around you, which means that wouldn't be loaded. Hmm. But as you can see, it's only done two out of this coal piece already. But I'm getting lead and silver. So, that will be able to get me started on that. Uh, it's not going to be anywhere near enough for any kind of a real start. But it's definitely something. And that is something. And that is a lot of great wood planks. Perhaps far more than I previously expected. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll start on some Tinker's Construct related stuff while I'm here. I'm going to need one of those in log form. That is a lot of sticks. There's going to be enough of those. Now, part builder. Oh, oh, and that's giving me the other book. Part builder is the log and one of these. If you take a plank, you get the stencil table, which you need to get started. The crafting table. Oops will allow you to make the tool station which is need for assembling your tools and I need at least one more thing which this stores the uh, patterns this is going to be a bit of a pain to move uh, the stencil table it doesn't really matter where it goes at least to me and the part builder you want next to the pattern chest now, one of the first things we're probably going to want is the pickaxe head. Uh, probably the axe head, but I'm wondering... I forget how to make the lumberjack axe, but in the meantime, I want the regular tool rod. 
which is right here. I'm also going to want the tool binding pattern. Those are all the things I need to make the axe. As for the, I think, yeah, you kind of need the advanced tool station. Tool station? That doesn't seem right. Tool forge. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's expensive. We're not making a lumberjack axe at the moment. That's a lot of iron. Hmm. Apples? Apples, bread. Let's eat an apple. So I guess I'm not going to make a lumberjack axe. I'm just going to stick with this regular axe I have at the moment. Uh, this is going to end up not going. Uh, this right here, I made this because I wanted to make some iron picks, but I didn't want to waste resources. So make the grindstone like that, and then you also need the crank, which is just made like that. And it basically outputs what a macerator would if you're using IC2 or basically the dust doubles your resources that you would get from a device or from an ore so I think you have the general idea of what I'm going to do with the house mostly so I'm going to go build that since it is daylight because I slept and then I'll move everything over there and then uh, we'll continue on once I've got the silver and lead processed. However, I can't really begin proper processing with factorization until I have access to nine diamonds and a block of TNT. So I, I just wanted to be able to get my silver processed at the moment. I'm probably going to go branch mine until I find nine diamonds because yeah. Hey. Why won't you talk to me? Right. I should probably stop recording rather than being distracted. So I'll be back with you in a second. Okay. Here we are. I've moved everything in. I've made the floor out of the extremely expensive silverwood planks. Got some silverwood saplings. I actually cut those trees down from out here. Uh, when making some of the decisions here, I open this up. So, for example, you can see, you can make planks and stuff, which means I can use them as covers. Even though that doesn't seem to match the blocks themselves. That's awkward, but whatever. Maybe they will in the future. So I'll be able to saw them apart and use them as covers for stuff later. So they'll still work just fine. Uh, I made the, uh, I said I liked the leaves, so I made the entire ceiling out of the leaves. I might put some glass or change it later or whatever. Uh, we've got roughly, oh, I just realized I am not in a position for you to properly hear me. Okay, so, hopefully that's resolved now. I've moved everything over. I have went through all of the uh, silver and lead now there should be enough I went and gathered some clay uh, as you can see clay is used in grout hardened clay uh, the last area is what we want to make eventually need the diamonds for that but insulated coil which is something we're gonna need a couple of uh, you know what screw it let's do that now the reason for this is it's used in many things, including the heater, which will make one of these for the moment. Another thing that we need to make for sure is going to be a battery, although I'm not sure I should technically, uh, I don't have any bottles, hmm, because I don't have any glass, so I guess making a battery could be a problem. What about the... There's a machine. Here, I'll just open up factorization. Uh, one of This right here is probably one of the easiest ways to get power. You could also make a solar array, which is extremely expensive on silver and isn't terribly effective in the end. 
I got some slime balls so I can make a sticky piston, but I'm going to need sulfuric acid and leather. I should have enough bones. I'm going to need a water boiler and a steam turbine, which this takes a magnet, which as you can see, there is a lot of stuff involved in this. Uh, screw it, let's just make two sets of cable. So I'm, chances are, I'm probably going to grind up iron in that. i uh, put the clay back in here. Uh, the thing about the heater is it's used to, I can't even make, oh, maybe I can I lied. Uh, basically, you use that, and you can heat up the vanilla furnace, the slag furnace, with it using the factorization power rather than needing real fuel. I'm curious as how grass spread underneath these blocks, but okay. So I'm gonna actually throw the heater right there, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about power yet. Rotten flesh is a decent source of power, that's for sure. But not quite sure how I'm going to get all these things set up. Let's see. I'll probably put them in the floor for now. And then worry about them later. Because they're all full blocks. So we'll put steam turb... No, battery, steam turbine, water boiler, uh, calciometric burner. So... I suppose I'll replace those with something easier to take out afterwards. I definitely want to make at least one of those things before we finish this. And luckily, because I'm so close to a desert, that'll be easy. Partly because I only need three glass to get started. Uh, however, iron is going to be a different story. And then all of the other things I need as well. Uh, we will just burn that with two pieces of wood. Should solve that quite quickly. I I have oh, I have buckets. Useful. Let's make the thing underneath of here. Uh-oh. Uh, what do I need? Two? It's going to look odd because there's the two things in the back there, but... I'm not going to worry about that right now. One of the first things I am going to need to do, though, is... Probably an iron door. Uh, cause they, with it being on hard mode, the zombies are extremely annoying. There's other things I could do, which I will in the future, but as it currently stands, Iron Door. Although, until I get obsidian pressure plates, I really am not interested in such things. Um, I don't think there's an easy way to get obsidian without diamonds, though. Uh, especially not when we're only in factorization. There's that, which requires diamonds. There's that, which requires having made that, so that's not helpful. Molten obsidian, which is made from melting obsidian, so that's not particularly helpful. Uh, that appears to be it. So, yeah, we're going to need diamonds to get started on that. And we've got uh, a little bit of time left. Hopefully enough to at least get started on this. Infinite water source. Okay, I will just throw these buckets in here. Glass done? Yes, it is. Okay. Blunk, blunk, blunk. Uh, how much? Let's see, I'm going to need two coal or gunpowder. Do 
that, 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 and that. I don't have any leather yet. Uh, there is a way to get leather from a nature creature, but not sure if there's another way. Let's see, I could kill a book, but that would require me to find thing. Uh, in short, I believe the answer is no. However, I should be able to make... Uh, well, I guess it's a good time to show you the machine of extreme boring. That's... Yeah, hopefully that's enough. Although it's probably not going to. Basically, you just right-click it. The crank will periodically break. I believe it's just completely random. But... You turn it enough times, it'll convert it into, in this case, powder. Because that seems to be the first dictionary result it's throwing out. Not entirely sure what powder's from. Because different mods like to add in their different things, and I'm not sure which one that one coincides with. Uh, actually, I remember looking that up. The powder comes from, if you see here, it comes from the sag mill, which is kind of the alternative to thermal expansion, sort of, kind of. But the name of the mod is Ender IO. It's, it's a fun mod. We'll get around to it eventually. It's very good at doing what it does, basically. And job done. Boom, boom. The sooner I can stop burning all of my coal cooking things, the better. But that's a bit of wishful thinking. This is going to take a while. What can I do in the meantime? I have exactly six bones, I suppose. First of all, I can sleep. I see cows on my radar. I only see... Oh, there's, there's at least four. There's one off on his own up this direction. You, sir, cow, I am going to need some leather from you. So, thank you very much for your one piece of leather. That's all I desired. I'm going to go back to where I was now. Oops. Uh, I will throw... The... Oh, not you. Bottle of water in there. The six bones. I believe it requires zombie flesh as well. Cal... Oh. Caliometric burner. Oh, no, it was a sticky piston. Which means I need iron means I also need stone, but I've got that. Uh, three wood and a slime ball. Okay, so let's make a piston which requires the redstone that is still in here. So give me one of those, or two, whatever. Now you'll notice that on sticky piston, it doesn't have to be that. I can use rubber from the rubber trees, uh, the MFR rubber trees which I need to get around to doing something with. I know there's plenty of them over in the, uh, the, if you look, there's dark green leaves, not, not the, like, faded green, like, dead green, but the bright green, dark green, if that makes any sense. Highly saturated dark green leaves, uh, over in the swamp biome. That is the Mine Factory Reloaded trees. Oops, uh, X, okay. So this will go here. One, two, three, four. Is that it? One, two. This seems a bit too easy to be a battery. But it is. Uh, what do I need to make a magnet? Actually, I know what I need to make a magnet. I need seven of these. These do not get consumed. Neither does the battery in this process. Plunk. Or you can see I lost power on the battery, so there's that. I need two things that contain the magnet. The motor. Four insulated coil, two iron, two lead. I have two iron. 
Let's get two lead. Four insulated coil. Bam, motor. Things that use the motor. Steam turbine, which means I need another five iron there, plus two iron. Plus, I needed panes, and I didn't get enough glass for that. Well, crap. So I'm going to need six more sand, and I'm going to kick it up. And I'm probably going to spend more wood doing that. Because like I said, I'm trying to avoid using my coal as much as possible. I, although I don't actually think it's used in much. Because I don't have IC2. Block of coal, torches, smoky quartz. Interesting. Torches that are made using the stone rods. Shapeless crafting, fire charges, sulfuric acid, magic pencil. Uh, carbon, which I believe is for misc peripherals. No, open peripherals, not misc peripherals. Two very different things. Uh, you make coke and coke oven. So, basically, no. Hmm. Glass time, I guess. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, that's not what goes in there. That's why that didn't work. Also, if you haven't been able to tell my... Uh, it, it's starting to wear off a bit. The medicine and my nose is starting to kind of get yucky. So... I'm going to try and finish this up here as soon as possible. I'd like to finish off these two things. Although, I didn't kill enough iron for that. Seven, six, a number. It's probably going to take longer than I'd like it to in order to cook up the iron. Hmm. There really is no easy way to go about this. Not if I want to be not wasteful, which I'm trying to not waste as many resources as I possibly can. Glass done? Glass is done. Okay, I should probably do something about that. I really should. Battery. Now, technically the battery should have lost a bunch of charge, maybe. Because it should have put buffer energy into the heater that is under the slag furnace. And I'll show you what I mean by being wasteful. If I were to take... What is something I don't care so much about? Uh... I'm going to go with tin, because I actually seem to find quite a bit of it. If I take this and put it in here, uh, back to what I was doing, because it's going to take a tiny bit to get some of that cooked. I believe a heater is still a little bit faster once this gets fully heated than regular coal, but you'll sometimes get stone, and you have a chance to get extra bars, but generally you won't. Uh, two, two. That is more than needs to be there. However, as you can see, I'm draining the power in this battery rather quickly. So, yeah. And as you can see, I got one extra tin bar, but that was it. I also got some smooth stone just stone, however you want to look at it, which is handy. Let's make the turbine. So I should have everything for that now, except for I didn't make the panes. Done. Oh. What am I missing? Uh, it needs some of the uh, things from the other thing. Gotcha. Uh, I actually think, since I'm draining out this, I don't know... Oh, screw that. It requires another uh, piece of glass. Now, let's make a turbine. Now, what am I missing? That, that. Oh. I'm an idiot. There. 
The turbine will go next to the battery. And then the boiler I don't have because I need four more iron to cook. Go here. So this will put heat into the boiler, which will generate steam, which this actually needs to be on top of the steam boiler because I'm an idiot. Hmm. I feel as though there may be no good way to handle this. Or is there? There most probably isn't. I suppose... Well, I hate to do it this way, since it's going to be in the way, but unfortunately, circumstances have left me no choice. Boiler. Oh, right. And to make matters even more complicated, I need to put an infinite source underneath this. Things have really dragged on longer than I intended, I apologize for that. However, I really wanted to get this done before I ceased what I was doing. Uh, what does a charge meter take? Oh. I can make that. One, two, three, four, four, ah, screw it. So if I grab myself two lead, do this. Now, you can see it has water because it sucked it up from below, but there's no steam and no power. Put this here. There's that hole in the floor that I made. Now, since I once again don't really care so much, I think I can run this straight through the slit. Yes, yes I can. I don't really care about this either, so I'm grab eight of that. So you're gonna try and cook it, and maybe after one or two, the battery should be out of power. You'll know when the battery's out of power, because that will cook down, if that makes any sense. See how it's going down? And notice how it slowed down? That's coal speed, but whenever it's at full, it cooks at a higher speed. Now, if I were to say take a piece of rotten flesh, just one, put it in there, you'll notice that this is now cooking, the turbine is spinning, and the battery has 0% charge because it's all being used to cook things in there, but it is gaining storage percentage, which means that this is using less than the setup is currently generating. Or at least it was. That is now empty and there is no more meat in there. However, this process is done. As far as I know, that works with any kind of food. So, I suppose that's good for now. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.